Hello friends, welcome back to the Tetrahedron Chemistry classes. So guys, in today's class, I am going to discuss the synthesis of the phenacetin drug, which is very important for the B.Tech first year student, and it is equally important for the pharmacy students, right? Okay, because this question the generally actually uh, is there in uh, is there in their syllabus uh, when they go for the GPAT examination and all other things, right? So it's a basic thing. So today I am going to discuss uh, what is the action of this drug, how we can synthesize this drug and why this dr drug is banned in all over the world right now. Okay. So first of all you should know uh, the very important thing I am going to discuss this phenacetine and this is the structure of the phenacetine. Okay. Where this basically this phenacetine is the uh, acetamide. It is a derivative of the acetamide. You can see this nitrogen here and this nitrogen is substituted with this benzene ring and this benzene ring is having the substitution at the position number 4 ok so if you want to uh, give the name to this particular drug then you can very easily give the name ok how we can how you can see say this is carbon number 1 this is carbon 2 this is carbon 3 this is carbon number 4 ok and this carbon number 4 is having the substitution and this nitrogen actually is having the substitution of this particular benzene ring along with this uh, substituent ok so basically it is n substituted so we can write n dash then you will start this parenthesis right and at the position number 4 you are having the ethoxy substitution so basically is if this ethoxy is present on the phenyl ring so this is n dash 4 dash ethoxy phenyl and this is the derivative of the acetamide CH3COH2 so you can write acetamide so this is the IUPAC name and this phenacetine is the common name or the general name and this is the molecular formula you can count the carbon hydrogen nitrogen and oxygen and see uh, where, where this molecular formula is corresponding to this particular structure or not okay when it comes to the action of this particular drug so this drug is basically analgesic as well as the antipyretic right analgesic means the drugs which can relieve a uh, pain actually and anti antipyretics the drugs which we generally use during the fever to reduce the temperature of the body we use the antipyretic drugs so basically the phenacetine action uh, phenacetine generally acted in both the ways analgesic as well as the antipyretic but the problem with the drug is that it is highly liver toxic right it is mentioned in the literature that is it is liver toxic and there are very clear cut uh, case studies of the kidney toxicity it is very toxic to the uh, kidney and sometimes it can give you the renal cancer actually that's why it is carcinogenic also so you should remember that is it is liver toxic and it is seriously toxic to the kidneys it can give you the it, it, it can give the patient uh, renal toxicity right and it is carcinogenic, carcinogenic also so due to these reasons these side effects these drugs uh, these uh, this drug is actually banned in the Canada in 1978 and in the UK it is banned in 1980 in the USA and India it is banned in the 1983 so I have given only the name of the four countries where actually this phenacetine uh, drug is banned but all over the world it is banned now right so it is now withdrawn from the market so you should know this thing and uh, how we can synthesize however there is no point of discussing the synthesis of the drug which is already withdrawn from the market but you should know the, the case studies also that's why it is very important to understand how we can synthesize it's a very simple kind of the molecule and you can very easily synthesize this molecule with the help of the paranitrophenol so if you want to synthesize it you can write uh, this paranitrophenol here so this is the benzene ring having the substitution of nitro group over there okay and the OH group so guys uh, in the background you might listen uh, the sound of the dog actually right so I right now I'm in the campus and the dog actually someone dog is barking very uh, uh, you know continuously for a uh, for about one hour I waited actually for about one hour to actually stop him but uh, uh, it is it is barking still right uh, still right so what you can do please adjust with this uh, barking sound okay so this is your para nitrophenol if you uh, want if you want then I can write its uh, IUPAC name also this is para nitrophenol 
so this is the starting material to form the this drug so what we will do in that case we will we will do the uh, alkylation so i can write alkylation here and with this alkylation i will use the ethyl bromide here c2h5 br to synthesize this particular to, to synthesize the intermediate actually so you know that it's a very uh, famous reaction when this alcohol actually uh, reacts with the hbr so this br will remove this hydrogen from here okay and when the hydrogen will remove it, that means this hydrogen would be substituted by the c2h5 here so next thing is what you can write like that no2 we will retain as such here and this is o now this o is substituted with your c2h5 and minus hbr that means you have removed hbr from here okay so th th this is the very basic chemistry so i am not actually showing the electronic movement to you so if you want then you can uh, you can draw this electronic movement by your own okay so now in the next step what we can do we can reduce this now this can we can reduce it so we will do the reduction okay we will do the reduction for this and for reduction we will take the hcl and in the, in this hcl we will put some iron right iron fillings we will put and it will produce the hydrogen and uh, the hydrogen actually which will be produced from this acid by the action of this iron will reduce this no2 group into the amino group okay so uh, your next intermediate would be like that only so this is your benzene ring and this is your o c2h5 now this nitro group would be your amino group now this is something very very important and then the last step is actually the problem problem it, that mean uh, now these days especially in the india basically in this step we require the acetic anhydride we need the acetic anhydride anhydride ch3 C double bond O, O, and then carbon double bond oxygen, and then CH3. So this is your acetic anhydride molecule, and this acetic anhydride molecule is actually now banned in India. Only uh, one company like HD Fine is actually the supplier of this particular acetic anhydride. So it is very difficult uh, for the small institutions to actually. Uh, to to actually purchase this particular acetic anhydride the thing is that see if you are uh, studying in the in your btec curriculum then you know in the btec curriculum you hardly require uh, the, the few ml of this right and uh, the company actually will not give you the one or two bottle it will give you the 16 bottles so it is very difficult actually uh, to uh, use this acetic anhydride acetic anhydride anhydride why actually government banned this acetic anhydride because it is used in the synthesis of the morphine okay so no not not morphine very sorry because it is used in the synthesis of the heroin uh, heroin is you know it, it is a narcotic drug actually okay that's why actually indian government banned this particular so it is uh, very difficult to synthesize uh, this uh, phenacetine or even aspirin in the lab because aspirin also required the acetic anhydride for the synthesis but uh, we can do this reaction very easily now what why what uh, can happen now see uh, i can take one of the hydrogen from here and along with this hydrogen one i can take this acetate part okay when i took this i will remove ch3 cooh that means acetic acid i'll remove from here and when i remove the acetic acid uh, acetic acid uh, from here i'll and then the resulting uh, product would be your phenacetine so this is your benzene ring okay and now this is your nh and one hydrogen is substituted with the acetyl group so you, you can write co ch3 here and uh, this is your actually o c2h5 so this drug basically is your phenacetine okay this is the structure of this phenacetine which i have written here uh, n4 ethoxyphenyl acetamide so you can synthesize in this way the simple the very simple reaction involved here actually if you want then you can give the iupac name to all of the compound also right say i have already given the iupac name to, to this particular compound if you want you can give the iupac name to this particular compound also it is basically 4 ethoxy benjamine right because it is the uh, uh, you know uh, so it, it is the derivative of the amine actually nh right so it is 4 ethoxy benjamine and if you want to uh, give the iupc name to this particular compound 
so uh, this is uh, basically your uh, one ethoxy four nitro benzene okay these two are the side chains so if you want to give you the name so this is your one this is two this is three this is four so at four position uh, uh, sorry i uh, no fine this is one at one position you are uh, you are having the ethoxy and at position four you are having the nitro so basically it is one ethoxy four nitro benzene okay so this is uh, these are the things which you have to remember about the phenacetine and uh, uh, you know this uh, uh, what is the action actually it is believed that right it is believed that uh, when you actually uh, consume this phenacetine it readily hydrolyzes to uh, give you paracetamol okay so it basically it is believed that the action of the phenacetine is due to the uh, formation of the uh, paracetamol uh, when you consume the drug and it undergoes the hydrolysis to produce the uh, phenacetine okay so this is something very very important so these are the some uh, of the things and uh, uh, along with these things you should remember one thing if someone actually uh, uh, is consuming this particular drug however it is bad now but uh, just for your information i am telling you if someone actually consume the high concentration or high doses of uh, this phenacetine drug so it can cause uh, the severe headache okay and uh, due to this headache you may uh, person can uh, can have the experience of the dizziness right and uh, sometimes actually person can go to the uh, go uh, into the uh, you, you say uh, coma right it can give you the coma also and uh, uh, it is uh, renal toxic i already told you so these are the little things which you should remember i hope uh, you understood the thing uh, completely okay